Come, come. Sit by the fire and rest a while. You've had a long journey, and it will only become longer still. You were not the first visitor I've had, you know. Let me tell you all my magic told me of him. It was a night not unlike this one. Dark as velvet. The stars peeking through the trees with their judgmental gazes. The wind whispering through the leaves. A brave knight on his exhausted horse found himself in an unfamiliar forest. He couldn't remember how long he'd been traveling, only that it had been a very, very, very long time. Weary to the bone, the knight slid off his horse and decided he couldn't journey farther. He knew he and his horse should rest until the morning, when sunbeams would illuminate the towering oaks surrounding them, so that he could find his way once more. Sleep came quickly to the knight and his steed. After many weeks of travel, they hadn't had a moment to enjoy a fire's gentle warmth. This knight's bravery was world-renowned. All of the kingdoms had heard tales of the fearless ways he cut down monsters, delved into the darkest dungeons, rescued the prettiest kittens, and wielded the sharpest sword. That sword had been a gift from his monarch the day he departed for this dark maze of trees. The sword was encrusted with precious metals and cut jewels, all tokens of thanks from the people of their kingdom he laboured it over the years. There were even rare stones and enchanted crystals from other lands who had asked him for help in the past. There wasn't a kingdom in the world who hadn't heard of this knight and his good deeds. No kingdom but one. Rumors of a haunted castle buried deep in distant woods had reached this knight's ears. Stories of ghosts wandering ruined halls, cursed magical relics poisoning the stone, and echoes of voices without bodies had made this castle as famous as the knight. With one difference. No one quite knew where this castle was, only that the thought of it terrified them. Many people refused to travel far from their kingdoms, afraid to be the first to discover this castle and never return. This knight, when he heard the rumors, knew he had to discover it before anyone else. His monarch had commanded him to find the castle's location and place it on a map so that it could be avoided. But secretly, the knight wished to do better. He wished to solve the mystery of this supposed haunted castle and return home an even greater hero than he departed. This knight was good and brave, but he also loved a challenge. All his noble acts until now, he thought, meant nothing. But a castle, its location completely unknown to all, with ghostly foes no one could see, with riches said to be more dangerous than they were valuable? This was a quest worthy of his talents. No one but he would be able to cleanse that place. While he slept, dreams of glory and excitement raced through his mind. And when he awoke, those dreams seemed to have come true. He had been unable to notice in the dead of night, but he and his horse had made camp in the shadows of a sprawling, crumbling pile of stones, rising just above the treetops. The misshaping, ruined castle had crouched behind the odd maze of twisted trees. Now in the early morning mist, its true form became clear. The knight had arrived at the haunted castle of mystery. Shaking with anticipation, the knight tied his horse to a fallen log and vaulted over a collapsed wall close by. He raced up the castle stairs, sword brandished, shouting for the ghost to come and face him. But nothing answered him. Just sighing breezes and cracking stone. Undeterred, the knight approached the great rotten doors. With his sword's pommel, he knocked once, twice, three times, each deep boom resounding through the empty castle corridors. Nothing answered him again. As the seconds passed, a feeling of discomfort began to crawl up the knight's back. Not because a ghost's unseen chill had passed over him, not because the many jewels and crystals lovingly embedded in his sword had become infected by secret magical poison, not because evil taunting voices had crept into his ears, mocking his dreams of power. No, even worse. The knight could not feel any of these things at all, and he knew none of them existed. As he gazed up at the blank, shattered windows of the castle, looming over his tiny frame, all the knight felt was sad. There was no den of evil set to terrify travelers and keep them from looting its many treasures. It was simply an old, old ruin with some sort of terrible, tragic history that had long been lost to time. 
There was nothing to cleanse here. Nothing to save. All this knight could do was return home with the castle's location and try to convince the people who worshipped his heroics that they had nothing to fear. The castle was simply a neglected building. No magic or mystery or anything in need of fixing. The knight turned on his heel and descended the staircase to return to his horse. But something, something made him pause just before the disintegrating stone gave way to twisted trees. As he glanced back up at the castle towers, he could have sworn something flickered. Something, maybe someone in need of saving from magic, mystery, and pain. But then it was gone. Surely the knight had imagined it, peering through the dusty glass, a handsome but haggard king's face, conjuring images of ghosts and his hopes for a story to take home. The knight saddled his horse and left the castle as abandoned as he'd found it, and returned to his monarch to share news of his discovery. No one ever bothered to seek out the haunted castle or solve its mysteries ever again. No one, of course, until you. <laughs>